Hey everyone, Galen here. Um, and today I'm actually going to be doing uh, a tutorial on how to use Cheat Engine with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Well, in this case I'm using Philosopher's Stone for the video. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up Cheat Engine and you're going to click on this button here which brings up your process list. This is all of the um, processes that are running on your computer system. So you just click Harry Potter, click open. Uh, I have a pre-existing table loaded already. Um, so I'm going to click no. Now I'm going to start this from scratch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm going to go here, Hogwarts grounds. Okay. Um, well, what we can do is we can actually start off by doing beans. I have no bean value. So uh, whatever your bean, whatever your the value is that you're trying to change, is the value you're going to want to use as your first scan. I don't have a value right now, so I can't scan anything because I have no value to uh, look up. So we're going to go give beans 500. So now my bean value is 500. We're going to go in here and type 500. And do first scan. Now, as you can see, there's many different addresses in this game that have the value 500. We gotta narrow that down from the 223 to the one that we need. Best way to do that, bring up the console again, do give beans one more time, increase to 1000. Now, we're gonna change that to 1000, leave the scan type as exact value. You're gonna wanna be on, it's gonna automatically set the four bytes as the value type, so you don't gotta worry about it. So just click next scan, boom, there you go. That's your, your, going to be your bean value. We can test that out by changing the value to 5,000. Click OK. Go back into the game. There you go, 5,000 beans. Uh, just for the hell of it, we can max it out. 9999. And there you go. Um... see okay so what we can do next uh house points there's no there's no house points okay so what we can do we can do give house points and we can do 500 house points and we're gonna do a new scan and we're gonna go 500 again for scan obviously there's gonna be a lot of those so let's do that one more time. There you go, 1,000. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go 1,000, next scan. Okay, so you got three different values, or three different addresses with the same value. What you're going to want to do now okay is you're going to want to narrow this down to the one that you need it's going to be closely resembling this one um so actually we can change this to beans so zero five four three zero nine four eight it's going to look like zero five four three zero nine two eight i feel like this might be the one so we can try it Let's change it to 5,000. There you go, 5,000. Um, just for kicks and giggles. Let's try this. I just want to see what will happen. I don't think I've ever actually tried that. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I gotta say. Like, 
the other house the other houses their points won't go up so their ends won't go up past a thousand that's funny okay so now we know what the house what the uh, address is that has the value for the house points so we can click on that um let's see with her we I don't have any challenge stars so what we can do set the base Harry num stars 500 okay 500 challenge stars new scan repeat the process 500 let's do that one more time uh oh I know why There you go, a thousand. Okay. Next scan. So it's gonna be zero five four thirty ninety four C. This is probably it. Okay. So what we can do is we can try this value and change it to five thousand. There you go. That's the value for the challenge stars. So let's max that out just for the fun of it and it's maxed out challenge stars okay so one more thing that we can do here is we can do give seeds Gave myself 500 of those. New scan. The scan's gonna be 500. Let's go back into the game and give myself another 500 seeds. That's a thousand. So let's change that to a thousand. Go to the next scan. And this should be your. That's the only one that comes up, so that has to be the value for the fire seeds. So we're gonna click OK. Mm, yeah, 5,000 fire seeds. There you go. Fire seed counter is maxed out. My best guess is you can probably go higher than that. I didn't, I haven't tried it. I just put 99999. But um, one thing I want to point out when doing this, though, is the fact that when you're doing... Um, see okay there we go um when you're doing this with the challenge stars and the fire seeds and this only applies to them um when you're manipulating the value for the challenge stars it's not going to the game isn't going to recognize that you have that many so obviously because i maxed it out and i have a and like an infinity amount of stars it's not going to recognize that i have that it's just going to recognize that i've got the minimum amount of stars collected and they're, they're going to give you some house points when you do the challenges but not the uh, 20 points that you'd get for getting all the stars um, and the same principle applies to fire seeds if you don't actually physically pick up any seeds and you said okay I'm going to change the value is the game's not going to uh, detect that you um, have uh, it's not going to recognize you have all the stuff uh, seeds so Hagger's not going to give you the, the wizard card for collecting all of them and I've, I've actually tried that, so I know that it doesn't work. <laughs> um, that kind of sucks, but uh, it is fun to mess around with. Um, so what we can do is go back to Cheat Engine. And you can check all these boxes where it says active. And you, may, you can make them inactive when you check all the boxes like that. And what that means is that those values are not going to change. They're frozen, which is really neat. So you can't lose house points. You can't lose beans. And there's no way to lose challenge stars or to lose seeds. So it's kind of a, uh, you know, a, a huge win. Um, what you can do now, 
uh, if you really want to save this, you can save this cheat table. Uh, I've already got one saved, but it would go into documents and then my cheat tables. And you can save it as whatever you want. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I know there was one made, I think, for HP3. Uh, there might have been one for HP2, I don't remember, but I'm going to do one for that and for HP3. Um, just to kind of give you guys an idea as to what you can do with uh, this game. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Uh, there's more to come.